all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. You kidding me? You just saved your ass. You're gonna be raped and then a rawful stomp. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Bah. At least let me loot the bodies. Ah, of course not. God damn it. More? That brawl. We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Ha! Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? <laughs> we didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls. As soon as possible. Busted. Just the beginning, but then. But then. <sighs> what? No way. Right now! It's the wild hunt, really?
Okay, Vizima. Here we come. This was a close call. What the hell? How did those fuckers find out? The tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The one uh, what a pussy. In that <laughs> chair. Look at that sexy wet body. Weapon. We shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. What's lice? Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? Ha <laughs> ha No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. I haven't discussed this with Yennefer, so I'm gonna go with this. Your men died in battle. As soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you overly. True, but I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain, that's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Get dressed and talk to the Chamberlain. Well, first and foremost, let's let's check out our character, shall we? Okay, character. I have I am level four now, I have unlocked this one and I have five available points to spend. 
so which means that I'm gonna go with a strong training I'm gonna put it here wait arrow and lightning reflexes I'm slowed by an additional 15 while I need the crossbow nah fuck that shit yes okay everything is 222 and I have three points available which is Two and three. There you go. Everything done. Now let's go back to my inventory. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm so sexy like this. No, seriously, I need to pick up some man clothes. Every single one of them is, well, weird. Wait, isn't the one. Isn't this one a copy of this one? It is, isn't it? No, the pattern is different. I think I rather the one on the right. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Is that okay? I can boss. Look at this sexy beast. Okay, okay. Chill out. Ah, damn it, man. There. Happy. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Wait, this is not the one I chose. Are you kidding me? The pattern were. Hold on a second. On something else. Go ahead. Wait. Are you serious? Oh no, they're actually different. And this one is a bit more discreet. So yeah, whatever. Let's let's and take this. Say, Shut up. Yes. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. <laughs> no need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on the street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. What should I do then, suck his anus? Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Are you kidding me? Gentlemen will rehearse. <laughs> Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. <sighs> right leg forward, left hand on the chest. Left leg back, hands at the side. Left leg. Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. <laughs> the gentleman can watch carefully. <laughs> leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin <gasps> to chest. <laughs> the gentleman will rehearse. Ah, oh, this is so stupid! Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> like extent. Shut up. The gentleman will rehearse. <laughs> Ta da! Mm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. <sighs> Can I slap him with the fish that I have in my inventory? 
The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Is that your arch magnificency? I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. It would be awesome if I could just fart in their faces. <sighs> Boring. <sighs> nope. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do order. Avelian namen wat kan vervoort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of- Look at that nose, nice, nice son! Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so- Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. What audience? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately? Shut up! Not to bow to the emperor. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah, the blah blah Nothing blah. Happened. To the gentleman, I shall be punished. Really? Now, please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Oh, that's just perfect. Did I not request? The scene as far as Novigrad. Yeah, a name. Rad sleeten e enekt es tun es is saur an nein fire. Es is sit efsa, ep finsa nein mathen, te de tage in den kalant ne es a voloi saur. Ep tu saur? Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Still worth trying. Because? Because there are few causes worth serving, even fewer men. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. <laughs> but I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm hmm Some weirbubs. 
See you. Soon, mind you. Yes, Geralt? See you. Soon, my... Oh, What do you want this switch? Oh, Forgive, forgive ah. us, sir. not in a hurry to we see the sorceress. Did I not Lord. request? Hell. Oh, look at this, is beautiful. <laughs> I have my eye on you, Lord Lindt. We've no need, we've no need for the gentleman's best. To see the sorceress? Did I not request? Hell. Okay. Yes, hen as queen. Let's go, faggot. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet? Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority. Let me save first.